Park. We're here at my fire station and uh, we thought today we would take you on a little tour of our fire truck and show you what's inside the uh, fire station here just so that you can uh, kind of see what we do every day. So I'm going to open this door up and then Mr. Todd is going to pull the fire truck out here and then when he does we're going to show you what's in all of our cabinets and show you what we have while we uh, drive and all that kind of cool stuff. So uh, let's watch him pull the truck out real quick. So right here is where Mr. Todd drives the fire truck from. So this is just like a car that your mom or your dad may drive. It has a lot of the same stuff in it. It's got a steering wheel in it. We've got a lot of buttons and stuff that turn our headlights on. We have windshield wipers, everything just like your car, except we have all these flashing lights and the sirens and stuff. So we have a bunch of buttons that are up here. And then we have a radio that's right there that sits there so we can talk to 911 and we can tell 911 where we're at and what we're doing. And so you can see all of our cool lights inside. But other than that, it's just like a car that you would drive at home. So this is where Mr. Todd sits when he takes us to a call, whether it's a fire call or whether we go to help somebody with a medical call, that's where he'll drive from. Now back here, this is where Mr. Steve sits. He's our firefighter. So he'll sit back here with all of our equipment and stuff that you see. And if we have a fire, he starts getting dressed while we're back here and then he can get, have everything on that he needs to have before we get to the actual call. So that way, as soon as we get off the fire truck, we have on our helmet and our coats and all that kind of cool stuff that we're gonna show you here in just a little bit. So he sits back there, but you can see we got a bunch of stuff back there. That's because we have to carry a bunch of stuff with us. And this isn't our normal truck. We're in what they call a reserve truck, which means our truck is getting work done on it. So this is one of our backup trucks, but it's still pretty much the same thing. Now, when we get to a fire, usually we have to have water, of course. And so we have to figure out where we're gonna get our water from. Well, just like you have a bathtub at your house, we have a huge bathtub that sits up in the middle of this fire truck. Now you can't see it because it's hid with all this stuff, but if you can see through there, there's a big tank and it's got water in it so that we can use it. But we also need more water than that. So that's when we hook to the fire hydrants that you see that are on the side of the road. So when we do that, Mr. Todd has to come over here and he has to figure out which kind of hose we need, which size we need, and then he needs to figure out how much water we have to put in it. So he has to do a bunch of math real fast in his head to figure it out. So these are all the knobs and stuff that he uses to tell the water where to go. So if he pulls like this one here that says pre-connect two, that means that this hose right here is gonna have a bunch of water coming into it. So we would already have that hose stretched out and we would have it ready to go. So all of these levers that you see here that he pulls just tell the water where to go. And then all of this stuff down here is where we hook to the actual fire hydrant so we can get more water into the truck and we can keep fighting the fire without losing water. So on down here, this is a lot of the tools that he has to have to hook up to the fire hydrant. So he's got all kinds of wrenches and stuff like that. And he uses that to hook up to the fire hydrant and all that other kind of cool stuff so that we can keep water. But we have to also keep a bunch of other tools on our truck. So what we do is we have all these cool cabinets that let us keep all kinds of extra equipment on here. So we have things like this that can let us break into a door or get into a house. We have an ax just like you cut down trees with and stuff in case we need to hit something. And then we have all kinds of cool tools that we can use inside a, a house if we need to like pull a ceiling down, if there's a fire up in there. So that's what we keep all these cool tools for. Now back here is a couple of other things and you may have seen these. They have these at the preschool and they have these everywhere you go. These are fire extinguishers. So if you have a small fire or something, you can 
grab one of these fire extinguishers and you can use it to put the fire out. So we actually keep those on our truck also. So this one, the silver one, it only has water in it. So it's like a little bitty fire truck all in itself. And we can take that inside if it's really small and we can spray it. Then this here is just a fan that we use to push smoke out of a house. So if a house gets smoke in it, it gets real nasty. We can use that to push all the smoke out and so it, it has better air in it. So then back here, this is what we call our jaws of life. So this is what we use when somebody's in a car and we can't get them out and we need to get them out. So we use some of this big equipment to cut the car so we can actually cut a car in half just like with scissors. So we take these giant scissors and we can cut a car or cut a door or anything we need to to help somebody get out if they need to. So this is like one of the coolest things that we carry. Everybody loves to play with these toys. So on around here, we have more stuff that we have to keep. We have a chainsaw just like you may have at your house that we can cut up trees and stuff if we need to. And then down here, we have stuff to dry up oil and gasoline and stuff on a call. And then all of these little doors that you've seen open are like our extra air bottles. And I'll show you what that means in just a minute. Now in here is every fireman's favorite cabinet. That's what we call sarcasm. This is what we call our EMS cabinet, which means emergency medical services, which is somebody sick, somebody doesn't feel good. If they need help with something like that, that's what we do almost always. So it's almost always somebody's grandmother doesn't feel good or dad doesn't feel good and they call us out. And so we take these bags and we have all kinds of stuff in it where we can see how fast their heart is beating. We can look at their heart. This thing right here is really cool. It lets us start somebody's heart if it stops. So we actually are trained to work on an ambulance and we're trained to work on a fire truck. So here where we're at today, which is Douglas County Fire Department, which is just down the road from where you're at in the school, is Douglasville, Georgia. And so all of our firemen are trained to be on an ambulance or a fire truck. So if you see a fireman or a fire girl and they're out, then they can be on either one of those trucks in our county. So we actually can do both things. So. Then on back here, we already showed you the other side of this. This is where uh, Firefighter Steve sits when he gets all of his stuff on. You can see his coat in there and his boots and some stuff like that. And then up here is where I sit. And so I have my seat, then I have a computer here. And then on the computer, 911 will put in information to tell us where we're going. They'll tell us the questions that they're getting answered so that when we get there, we know what we're gonna be going to. We don't wanna be surprised when we get there. So 911 talks through us through the radio and they talk through us through the computer to help us out. So now what we're gonna do is we have a new firefighter. His name is Tyree. So Tyree's never got to do this part for kids before. So this is his first time. Normally we like to do it when there's a bunch of kids here because when they get done, we get them to swarm him and jump all over him. But today, this is his first time doing it. So we're gonna kind of help him because he hasn't even started firefighter school yet. He's going to paramedic school to learn to be on the ambulance all the time. And so he's getting ready to start fire school. So we're going to let firefighter Steve help him. We're gonna show you what we wear when we go in a fire. Rescue fire, so, Here we go. So this is Tyree. And this is firefighter Steve that I was telling you about earlier. So Tyree is going to put on all the gear that we have if we had to go into a fire because it gets really hot and the air is really nasty and we don't want to breathe it. And so we have to have stuff on to protect us. But we like you to see what we look like when we go in because it is kind of scary. And uh, we want you to know in case you ever see it that we're there to help you. So the first thing that he's put on is his boots and his pants. So his boots keep things from falling on his feet. They have steel in the end of them, so nothing will uh, squash his toes, because we all know how bad that hurts. And then his pants and the coat he just put on protect him from the heat and stuff. So that way, uh, if it gets really hot inside when we're in the fire, it keeps it from burning his uh, skin and all that kind of stuff. So he makes sure that he zips it all the way up so that everything is covered. Now he's putting on his air pack. So when you're new, this is like one of the trickiest parts to learn. And so you have to, you have to figure out how to twist it just right and how to drop it over your shoulders. But uh, that's when we got firefighter Steve helping him so he can kind of get him set up in it right. Cause like I told you, this is his first time he's actually gotten to do this for us. So when he gets this on, 
it's like a big backpack now if you have an older brother and sister and they go to school and they put their big backpack on and they go to school this is pretty much the same thing except instead of having books and pencils and pens in it it's got a bottle on the back that has a bunch of air pressed into it so that when he puts on his mask in a minute he can breathe the air that comes out of that tank it kind of sounds like darth vader on star wars if you've ever heard that so he's getting his air pack on right now and so by the time we get to a fire and before we come off the fire truck like firefighter steve he would already have all this on and we would already be ready to go into the fire and we would be ready to help somebody but like i said we like you to see what we look like so that if you ever need us and you see us coming it can be scary but we want you to know that we're your friend and we're there to help you so right now he's putting on the mask so that's what i was telling you that he'll breathe through here in just a second and then firefighter steve's helping him get his air pack on so you just heard the bell go off and that means that the air is ready at his mask now he's not breathing in yet but the air is coming in so then he puts that hood on that he's got over his head now and that keeps the fire from being able to get to his ears or anything like that and then one of our most important things is the cool helmet so he has to put that on so if anything falls off of the uh out of the ceiling or something like that or we wear them sometimes when we're helping people on car accidents and it keeps things from uh, hitting your head. And so then he'll buckle that thing down and then that'll help him uh, keep it on his head so he doesn't get knocked off. And then the last thing, and then it's the hardest thing to do when you're trying to get all this mess on is he has to put his gloves on. And so he'll get his gloves on and then we'll let Asha, who's running our camera, come up here and we're gonna show you kind of up close, but you'll be able to see none of his skin is showing so he doesn't have any skin showing on his hands he doesn't have any skin showing on his uh legs or his chest or anything and then you can see inside of his mask but that's protected so he doesn't have to worry about that now if he talks talk to us tyree say hey, hey. you can hear it sounds kind of like a, a a digital voice or something that's pretty cool and then when he flips this little lever down he goes to breathing the air out of that bottle so now you hear him take a deep breath Sounds kind of like Darth Vader. So he has to do that, and that lets him breathe that air that's on his back right here instead of breathing the nasty air that's in the house so we don't have to worry about him getting sick or something when he's trying to help somebody. So that's pretty much how you'll see us if you need us so that we don't want you to get scared or anything like that. And even though Tyree's a pretty scary dude anyway, this makes him even more scary. So, uh, But we're there to help you, and we want to make sure that you're safe. So that was our little tour of the fire station today or the fire truck today so on friday we are all back on on duty again we'll be back at work on friday so friday if 911 doesn't give us a bunch of calls we're going to show you the ambulance that's right here and then we're going to show you inside the fire station so you can see where we live so tyree is actually on the ambulance and asha is our paramedic she's holding the camera so you'll get to see them on friday and then we'll kind of show you some of the cool stuff that's in the fire truck and are in the ambulance and we'll show you how we use all those cool tools too but until then you guys stay safe i miss all you guys and i know your teachers miss you and hopefully we'll see you soon thanks bye bye